so let me show you the ingredients that I'm going to use for this spring roll I have some cabbage here some shredded cabbage I have some grated carrots I used uh, this box grater to grate my carrots you could do it on a food processor they usually have all these different parts that you can use I have some mushrooms here some celery that I chopped up and some green onions or scallions so when I come back we're gonna go to the stove and start sauteing our vegetables for our spring roll so let's add some grapeseed oil green onion mushrooms Add some salt. Some pepper. Maybe some pepper flakes as well. Celery. Carrots. I'm going to add the cabbage. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Let's add some salt over this. Let's incorporate the rest of the veggies into the cabbage. going to cover this and let this steam for a bit and then come back so the cabbage has softened up you don't need to add any more water or oil because this is what you want for your spring roll you don't want it too greasy and you want it like this it's like fluffy and just right so this is good I'm gonna add some coconut amino that gingery lime coconut amino I'm gonna add a little bit So there you have it so I'm getting ready to do our rolls before I do that I want to show you uh, I'm gonna make a tamarind sauce so I have my tamarind paste here and this is the paste with the seeds so you pour some hot water on this to reconstitute it and then I'm going to strain it out it's a light sauce not a heavy sauce so this is not so pasty so you try to get some of the pulp in there you see this is the, the tamarind seeds so I'm gonna let this sit and when I'm done with the rolls I'm gonna come back and we're gonna make a quick sauce with this so this is in a soya brand. It's really good. It sets egg roll wraps, but it doesn't have any eggs in it. It's vegan. It is eggless, no genetic, genetically engineered ingredients, right? So I'm going to cut this open. And...
this is what it looks like okay so when I come back we're gonna start putting our veggies into the the wrap and fold it up and start frying it so let's start doing our spring rolls see I'm pulling a sheet from this pile that I have here you see it's it's very thin you can see my fingers through the the wrapper so I'm going to take a spoon like this is a tablespoon tablespoon and a little bit not too much and you go like this you go on the diagonal you pull it and then you fold it on one side and then the other side and then you roll it like that see like that it doesn't have to be perfect it's homemade and what I'm going to do I have some arrowroot starch here in some water I'm going to use this to seal it you can use you can use water to seal this If you don't have our root starch, it's not a big deal. See, this is our spring, our spring roll. I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna pull, pull the sheet out carefully because it's a bit delicate. It could rip apart going to see and then you you do it on the diagonal like this I fold it over like this and I pull it pull it up and start rolling it I do this then I do this and then I roll it like that and I get my brush I brush here to seal it you definitely could use water to seal this you don't need the any kind of starch people who use corn organic corn of course non-gmo corn you can use corn starch to seal this I know corn is an issue with the GMO I know it's a big issue and you shouldn't be using it or you should be using it sparingly but if it's organic it's non GMO it's um let me go behind the camera here so you see this is like on the diagonal and I'm pulling it up and I'm starting to roll it and then I fold this one end here and this end here and I start rolling it like this see and I have my spring roll I'm going to seal it and I'm going to do one more and then get to the stove to start frying it those of you who do not want to fry because I know there are people out there who are concerned about frying you can roast it it's not going to take very long what I would do is I would so here we go again right this is on the diagonal I fold it in I pull it up like this I fold it on one side 
on the other side and I roll it and then I seal it with my our root starch so those of you who do not want to fry this you wanna put it in the oven you can stick it in the oven you take some oil and you baste it with a brush like that you baste it with the oil because it needs some kind of fat in order to start roasting or frying in the oven but it's not going to be deep frying so you baste it with the oil front and back and you put it in a pan and put it in the oven I would say very high heat no less than 450 until it gets some color so let's go to the stove I'm going to start frying my spring roll And this goes very fast and you see how it starts bubbling up it goes very quickly the filling is already cooked so it's not like it has to be cooked so all you're doing is browning the the wrapper put this on some drain this on some paper towel see this is what I'm doing so again those of you who don't want to fry this you can baste it with the fat you know avocado oil grapeseed oil olive oil and stick it in the oven guys let's do a quick sauce for our spring roll I'm starving I cannot wait to have this so we have our tamarind juice here I'm going to add some grapeseed oil to this I'm going to add some of my cocoa amino it has ginger and lime in it and I'm going to do some extra lime as well I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper flakes red pepper flakes some black pepper start mixing this in I'm going to add some maple syrup our limes I'm gonna cut squeeze half of the lime in there gonna add some green onions and some cilantro and last but not least some salt some salt so let me taste this and see what I need to if I need to add anything else or anything more I know this is good this is good it has some good stuff in there hmm it's good it needs some more acidity Some more salt. Yes, this is better, guys. This is really good. So when I come back, I'm going to set this up 
show you what it looks like I'm gonna plate it so guys here are our spring roll gonna take a taste dip it in the sauce hmm crunchy delicious hmm gonna enjoy this tonight hmm and this wrapper guys it's really really crunchy see this looks so good you could have this with some extra veggie on the side some broccoli some carrots delicious Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Share this video. See you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.